Gronk 2 is wild. There is no other way to put it. This is a fake image. This is a fake image. Am I a fake image? I don't know. Let's jump into today's video. Earlier today, Grok 2 got released. So if you are on the X platform, you can start playing around with it yourself. Along with its release, we got some information about it. From this chart here, we can see that it performs number four, number four for ELO score. And supposedly from this chart, which we've seen from every single AI provider, it performs better than every other model. Corbin, is this true? I don't know. It seems like every single time a new AI model is released by a new company or a company is releasing a new version of their model, it outperforms everyone else in the market. Can test results be skewed? Yes. Are these test results skewed? I don't know. Point being is that supposedly is better. Here is what's super cool though. When it generates its AI images, it's leveraging Flux.1. Now a big thing that's happening in the space right now is people will leverage this kind of AI image technology and make little videos like this. So if you're interested in making a video like this, check out that video right there. It's only two minutes long. I'll show you everything entailed with it and you can start making your own. Here is a quick consensus of what Gronk is, or at least when it comes to the AI image generation part. This very much feels like we're playing bowling, you know, we're bowling without the safety rails. They let you generate some crazy images. Now we've seen with other AI image generation platforms from other providers where they very much gatekeep and guardrail what could be outputted. But through a very quick scroll on X, you will see the guardrails don't really exist. Right off the bat, in order to access Gronk, I know a lot of you in the comments are gonna be like, I don't see it. You need to have a premium or premium plus plan as of now. Now Gronk operates like any other chatbot we've seen in the past where you can ask questions with a little bit of nuance in the sense that they've integrated tweets within the question selection as well. For example, if I click a tweet like, give me the latest on this, Sony releases new Craven the Hunter trailer, it will provide a bunch of information on that topic. So this is a little bit more integrated in the sense of very much specific to X content and X media. And as an example of what we can do with Gronk, in order to generate an image, you simply put in generate an image of what you want. So in this example, I said generate an image of an actual vegetable potato smoking a joint realistic. And I think this potato is smoking a joint. Stuff like this can get out of hand. So if you wanna know the lottery numbers for tomorrow and you live in Texas, there you go. Heard it here first, leave a like, it's free. We will have to do more on Gronk and what it can do, but I wanna give you this quick video telling you that it even exists, so you can check it out. You can do some crazy images, you can make them into videos, you can do a lot of stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. YouTube told me that these two videos perform best with you. It's based off your clicks, the way you've been engaging, what you like, supposedly, supposedly, those are good. I'll see you in the next video.